Hello and welcome. My name is John Hobby and this video is brought to you by PokerChipForum.com. I want to talk about some casino chips. Some of these are obsolete, uh, but it, they lend themselves well to this discussion. So let's have a look here. We have a win, one, Las Vegas, Paris, right across from the Bellagio, the Mirage, Sands, which no longer exists, and Harrah's right across from the Mirage, okay? So these are all right there, were, at least with the sands, right there on the strip. And let's dive into the discussion about these chips. And I think this is very pertinent to this channel as I'm interested in casino chips, there's the collector side of it, and as somebody in the home game world, you may be looking for chips. Let's grab a couple here. We have some ones right here so as you're looking through your chips why do you like what you like and what do you like and what options are available and i think all this discussion is important when you're talking about chips custom chips home sets or even collector's value of some of these chips so let's dive into it i want to start here um, briefly describing each chip and i want to show you some interesting progression here so the win one dollar this is very basic, okay? So the printing on the inlay matches the chip color. White and blue, what can I say? This is easily recognized by casino security. Again, something you're not worried about. You're not worried about your security cameras being able to easily tell the denominations of every single chip on the floor. So that said, look how simple this is. But you look at another win resort Mirage, no longer Win Resort. I know it's owned by MGM, but you look at the Mirage. Okay, very similar design cues. You have the four one eighth inch edge spots, but look at the inlay. It's very, <laughs> it's jazzed up. It's exciting, right? And that's they're trying to communicate something different with that. And to some people, you know, like you were to choose. If I were to choose one of these two, I would choose this one as the one that appeals to me most because. Maybe it's because I have a surplus of poker chips, but I look at this and I'm like, this is just a clean poker chip. It does its job. It's super efficient. I love it. I look at this and I'm like, yeah, it's bright and happy, which is good. But for a poker chip set, is that really what I'm looking for? Immediately, my first impression is to choose the win. If I were going to convey some sort of like exotic Polynesian themed resort like the Mirage is trying to do, then yeah, I get the colors. I get it. Okay. It makes sense. I can go with that. Okay. So those subtle differences, just that inlay, the darkness, the, you know, the different colors of the chip themselves actually make a difference. It's interesting. Which one of these two do you like the most? Actually, which one of these five do you like the most? Leave a comment below. And there's going to be somebody who's going to roll in some other casino chip. Let's leave the discussion to these five. Okay. So, and the Paris is the same way. So the Paris and the Mirage chip are really not that different. Um, the Win and the Mirage have a house mold. Okay, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that. I might have to roll in some pictures. But they're they're in a house mold. The Paris, we're moving to a couple of different things. Number one, the inlay is also kind of colorful. It has some red in there. It's a lighter blue and it's with a top hat and cane mold. Does that make a difference? Do you look at these two chips and think, oh, this one's better because it has top hat and cane mold? Or, oh, this one is better because it has a house mold? It's an interesting discussion. And for some people, it will matter more than the inlay color. Some people will be like, oh, I like this inlay more than this inlay. But some people will be like, oh, I like this mold of the chip more than the house mold. It's interesting. It's a really interesting discussion when you're talking about chips. All right. So continuing on here, looking at the sands. Now, all of a sudden, we move from four one-eighth inch edge spots to eight one-eighth inch edge spots, right? So those four extra little pink dots around the edge here, these little edge spots around the edge, that makes a huge difference on how you perceive this chip, doesn't it? It's all of a sudden like, parte, fiesta, that it looks very different. And then, you know, it kind of amplifies that inlay as well, or maybe matches is maybe a better word. So the whole chip is more exciting instead of just the inlay. And you compare that to our original base, you know, here of the win chip, very, that's <laughs> very, very different. Again, the sands is on the house mold. And then you move to something completely different like Hera's here. All of a sudden now you're have, now you have these large half inch edge spots, each of a different color with a small inlay on a house mold. 
and the chip looks completely different. These have these delicate lines, whereas these have these large, bold, robust looking half inch edge spots. We'll talk about some more chips like this in the future. But it's really interesting how people's tastes are different and what they're looking for. So what also kills me is the come out and play logo. It's like a little ad here. Do you remember when you were a kid? It seems like kids are different these days. Like I used to ask my friends like, hey, Dan, can you come out and play? But now with kids, like with my boy, he's four years old going on five. Kids don't talk like that. Like I've heard six year old kids be like, we have scheduled play time. It's like scheduled play time. Who talks like that? What's going on in the world? Our kids are like smarter now than they were when I was a kid. So come out and play Harris. Las Vegas. For some reason, when I see Harris, I think of Reno. Anyway, moving on. Uh, so vote, which one of these five chips do you like the most? And tell me your thoughts about what stands out to you when you're buying chips. Is it the inlay? Is it the edge spots? Is it the mold? A combination of all three. And colors. Some people like the pastel colors. Some people like the bold. Some people like a mix across the range. It's really interesting how everybody's taste different. So I'm interested to read which one you like the most. And can you see how it applies to home, stock, consumer grade chips, and your tastes in those? So we'll talk more about some other casino chips. I like rolling casino chips out in front of the camera. I feel like it's good education wise for viewers who are interested in poker chips and just for collector's value. So we'll be back with more interesting chips. Definitely check out pokerchipforum.com. I'm on here all the time. We talk about casino chips and stock chips and poker tables and all sorts of fun things. So I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. My name is John Hobby.